Passwords may soon be a thing of the past as companies like Google, Microsoft, and Apple usher in new technology known as passkeys. What is a passkey and how does it stack up against today's security needs? We'll cover those topics and more as we sit down and sync up with Rocket IT's weekly technology update. Hello everyone, I'm Chris Swinson, Technology Insider here at Rocket IT, and welcome to Sync Up, your new home for trending technology news. In 2021, Google, Microsoft, and Apple committed to supporting the Fast Identity Online standard, better known as the FIDO Alliance. And while the group has continued to aid in the development of a few different security technologies, passkeys have been the Alliance's primary focus. What is a passkey, you might ask? Rather than crafting a password when you create an account, passkeys are automatically assigned once you've provided a username. That passkey will then be tied to the device, meaning you won't have to enter a password to sign into your account. Instead, the application or website will automatically recognize the device and its passkey before requesting that you use either Face ID, a fingerprint scan, or PIN to complete the login process. Now, while Apple released passkeys with the launch of iOS 16 and Microsoft has offered passwordless logins since 2021, Google is the newest company to adopt passkeys with an announcement coming late last week. Now, obviously, the main draw of passkeys is that they're nearly impossible for scammers to steal via phishing attempts. Because passkeys are tied to your device and typically locked behind some form of biometric verification, hackers would be hard pressed to gain access to your account. On the other hand, if you lose your device, you'd expect it to be difficult to log into your accounts, right? Well, don't worry, Google's recent announcement has that covered as well. According to Google, if you do happen to misplace your device and you'd like to log in from another computer or smartphone, you can do that by granting temporary access. That said, while temporary access doesn't activate your passkey on the new device, it's important to note that your primary passkey shouldn't be stored on a shared device to begin with. But let's say that you didn't just lose your device, it's stolen and you think the thief has somehow gained access to your account. Well, fortunately, Google provides an option to revoke your passkey from a different device. Now, while those enrolled in Google's Advanced Protection Program can give passkeys a try right now, it's expected that it'll take some time before passkeys become widely adopted across other platforms. Currently, 1Password has compiled a list of services that accept passkeys as a login option, and I'll make sure to include a link in this video's description. Nevertheless, for businesses interested in elevating the security of their data, it's best to start implementing passkeys as they become available in the software that you use. For those that need assistance launching passkeys across their team, contact Rocket IT using the link in this video's description. And to stay up to date on trending technology news, hit that subscribe button and the bell to catch us on next week's episode of Sync Up with Rocket IT.